Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome and it's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back soul family. Get yourself comfortable, get your tea, get your snacks, get your coffee, get yourself cosy. You know how my reads go. The energy that came through for this collective reading, someone is inconsolable or someone's really upset. And I don't know why, I do not know why, but I've got that song stuck in my head again and I researched the name of it and it's Teddy Swims, Lose Control. I flipping love that song, but someone here has lost control, they're gutted. Something is either hasn't gone the, their way or they've learned something and it's too much for them. Right, let me just give you a little bit of incense bit for me, a bit for you. I'm going to do the boring legal disclaimers, get them out of the way really quickly, and then we can crack on, okay? So, please know, my readings are for entertainment purposes only. That's including personal readings as well as collective ones. If I say anything along the lines of um, referencing legality, finance, um, mental or, pers or physical health, personal health, Please know that I am not a um, professional in that area in any way, shape or form. I don't claim to be at all. You have to use your discernment, your common sense while you're listening to tarot. And it shouldn't take place of advice that you get from a professional, especially if it resonates for you. Know that my readings are not to tell you things that you don't already know. If I state anything and it really resonates for you, know that um, this reading is for confirmation and clarity only. You have to use your common sense. I don't know why I have to keep saying that. It's not because people aren't using their common sense. Sometimes when I have to reiterate certain things, it's because it then has some sort of sway in the rest of the reading. I feel like this person here who's really upset, they didn't use their common sense for something or they were advised something and they ignored it. And it's like hindsight is a B because now they're gutted that they didn't listen. But either way, so let me just finish with this um, legal disclaimers. Know that if I say he, she, um, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you and how your story fits authentically. Um, whether you put a gender, you assign a gender, swap them around, do not use a gender or leave them as they are, okay? If I do say him, her, I'm just talking about energies. Um, there was something else and I can't remember because now I've just got that Teddy Swim song stuck in my head. Bell. Let me ring this lovely lady bell. This is to cleanse the air. If you do not like the sound of bells or you have sound sensitivity, please turn down your uh, viewing device now. Thank you very much. Okay. And lose control. I'm not even going to try singing it because I will kill the song. And I did. I burnt. I burnt this tablecloth the day I bought it with incense. I literally forgot what I was doing. Put the put the burning incense down to do something. Went oh no! So distractions, distractions, distractions. Who is it that's stressed out? Why are they so stressed out? It's time for spirit. Someone is blocked, or someone's not trusting themselves. They're not trusting their third eye. The third eye is shut down. There's no love here. Okay. Someone is stressed. Holding on way too tightly. They had let go of something. This is what I mean by this advice. Someone did something blindly without following guidance and they're really upset by the um, by what they've learned or what hindsight is a B is what I'm getting. They had to let go of something or they've missed an opportunity or whatever it is that they were trying to hold onto has slipped through their fingers. What else? Why are they so upset? Why are they so upset? Breaking Dawn, they have learned something. Yeah, they've learned something. Breaking Dawn, Violet Angel, the signs are with you already. This person, it's not even signs and synchronicities. This is not the universe providing it to them. This is something in this realm. Four, this is foundations. Could be family, could be cancer. You have five here. This could be a Leo, could be creativity, could be to do with a... F Again, it's coming up with family. Ghost people in reverse and you miss someone. They lost someone. They lost their opportunity with someone. And they're fully aware of it. I feel that's the reason why I kept saying use your common sense because this person didn't. They did something very pet petty or childish or impulsive. And the person they thought that would play back their game ain't, ain't interested and they're stuck with something. You miss someone is upside down. 
and then you've got stifled bored and stuck they've stuck something on themselves and it's showing up in their actual lives because you've got miracle underneath it's showing up in their lives be that the fact that they have a lack of food i heard the lack of funding it's something to do with like um pentacles and i'm seeing someone's home someone's crying outside their home they may have been moving or they thought they were going to move to another home. Whatever they've done has really effed it up, not just for them, but if they have children. And that's why I was getting fifth house, because the fifth house is also to do with children. They're not getting a miracle. They've got the opposite. They're aware of this. They should have listened. They should have listened. And they didn't because of pride of some sort. This person feels very blocked. They may be unwell. We're here is underneath of five. But I'm not getting like, they did something in, um, on All Hallows Eve, or they did something on Halloween. Something about the veil being in the thinnest, or the day of the dead. And it's had such an adverse reaction now something they were trying to hold on to because they but they've done some something stupid i don't know if this is like a seance or a ouija board or something along those lines they got advice or they didn't they got advice when doing some some think occultists they did something and they were given advice and they didn't listen to it and it has now shown up in the physical and it's to do with tangible money or housing or staying safe in some way. And this person has a child. They may have had their children taken from them or their children as in taken into like social care or given to the other partner. Or something about them not, they've lost their home and now they're living in their car. I don't know. There's something going on here. The person that was providing for them left. The signs are with you already. Snow Angel, yeah, this person gave them a cold shoulder and they are stuck. They're, they're stuck in the thick of it now. They don't have anyone to support them. Yeah, look, healing from heartache. And I am not a victim. Someone walked away from them. Someone was like, I don't want to be with this messy person. I don't want to be with you. You are messy. This is coming back to this energy of whether these children are theirs because that's come through before. You've got, I am not a victim and you see clearly. They tried to block... They tried to block someone's third eye. They tried to do something so that they wouldn't see what they were up to. They've done something to glamour someone's third eye, but they found out anyway and left them. Wow. So they could heal themselves because they're not a victim. I'm getting a masculine left a feminine. Like a masculine has walked away from some sort of messy household or messy codependent kind of relationship they don't want to be part of it they are trying to heal themselves from what they didn't flip and see going on in front of their face because they don't want to be a victim they literally don't want to be a victim you've got transitions to the spirit realm maybe they did have their third eye look you've got a uh, voodoo back off underneath this person was doing some sort of spell work on them they may have been doing spell work on someone in the collective why because you've got death comes from death comes rebirth magical space clearing time so something may have been sent this is jealousy i'm getting there was jealousy from someone's baby mother or someone they did something irresponsible or they did something spontaneous spell work wise and it backfired but not the way they thought it would it was supposed to block this person from thinking about you or dreaming about you or just wanting better and you've got again one and three coming to four death comes rebirth this is to do this is like a family unit or something that had to break down or had there had to be change magical space clearing time is upside down someone remove this they re this person is realizing that the reason why their partner left or whoever it was that was their provider left is because of them because of what they had what they did and they were given some sort of advice and i don't know if they were given the wrong advice and they took it or they were given the right advice and they ignored it this one 
Which one? Over here, okay. Top or bottom? Top. Why, why does the collective need to know about this? Do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Because this person, because you've got guaranteed success upside down, star, this person is jealous. There's something about jealousy. Jealousy in someone else's success. Because you've got star and then you've got guaranteed success upside down. And then you've got misunderstanding. And success again. This is somebody who either watches someone in the collective online. Or they know this person in person. This could be a cousin. This could be, a, I don't know, like a childhood friend. But someone here was jealous of either beauty or success or both. And that's irrespective of gender. They may have been jealous of the way that their partner or provider or whoever that may be was looking towards this person in the collective. I keep getting like in dream state. I don't know if the masculine that left has dreamt of someone in the collective or said their name or was speaking in their dreams and this person was like, bitch, who? I don't know. Look, temporary situation. This was going on for a while. Great fortune. They were doing something to kind of like um, make money off of something they were doing because I'm getting like cyber bullying or spiritual bullying. They were doing astral bullying and... This argue, there was an argument or there was some sort of conversation where they were saying there's a misunderstanding. That's not what happened. That's not what I meant. This person has now realised where they are without somebody that actually appreciated them, but they were treating like ish, why they've left and what they've been stuck with. They've literally been stuck with the energy that they were sending out. All because they were jealous of somebody else's success. Somebody they probably don't even know. Seriously. You've got success, you've got happiness here. You've also got someone you know is undependable and insecure. This person, this person, whoever this masculine is, they realise that the person that they were with or looking after their children or you know providing for was undependable and insecure. That they were constantly having to, look, it says don't back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. This person was constantly having to have arguments or constantly having to like stroke this person's ego and be like, no. I'm not looking at that person like that. That person inspires me. Being inspired is not the same as, you know, falling in love with someone or whatever it may be. And that wasn't enough for them. It literally wasn't enough for them. Someone here looks at the collective success or their happiness or their just centeredness as something to compete with. But why are they crying the way they are? Why are they crying the way they are? Three of swords. Why are they crying the way they are? Because they're heartbroken. A flipping heartbroken. What are they heartbroken over? What are they heartbroken over? What is it? Because it says don't tempt, don't be tempted to lower your standards, but it was upside down. Because they lowered their step, they lowered their standards for success and happiness. They sent something that was supposed to get you to lower your standards and you didn't. And all it done was bring in great fortune good and great fortune and you've got here cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control they didn't know who you were they didn't know your spiritual connections or your spiritual stature and i'm getting this person is used to doing petty stuff and they have this is this energy of feeling like better than i'm better than a b and c because i've got links to this voodoo priest or i got links to my auntie who knows a witch doctor or i got links to so and so and so person and, and i had Yoruba. so i don't know if this person goes to someone who is um african or african-american or works with they may work with um i can't remember the name they work with certain like African deities like Ogon or um, Oshun. There's something along these lines and it gave them kind of a bit of a power trip that they had these connections to these people. So they, they thought that they would be able to do something to someone in the collective easy and it didn't work. All it did was make whoever it was that was providing and taking care of them and taking care of the house and taking care of this and that and blah, 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 blah look at them kind of sideways 
like bombastic side eye like why am i with somebody who is this shallow i went to say this hollow changes in your life bro this person realizes why there were changes in their life and it's made them very emotional someone may have carly Mart on their team this may be the person who kind of like sent this back taught us slowly but surely getting ahead they were told i feel like they got some sort of advice saying that you have to do things slowly if you want um if you want to get a one-up on somebody in the collective they may not have not listened because their pride was dented in some way it may have been because the first time or second time or whatever they realized how protected you were or protected whoever this person in the collective is that was protected success and happiness they were really trying to eff with someone's success and happiness can i get a couple more on the table please thank you this one november so they tried in october they tried in november happiness and well-being is coming out again they were trying to eff with someone's happiness because they have jealousy birth or concept of a child or enterprise this person had it in their head that this masculine energy irrespective of gender wanted to either get pregnant or impregnate somebody else this is the energy that's coming out it's almost like if that person has another child then there's less for me to have or if this person has another child they won't focus on me and my children as much even though this person was going around and spreading seed or having multiple children mm -mm -mm. It says broken ring, parting ways of either romance or business, chain of events that will affect your life. Whoever it is that has left them is very, um, I heard well-rounded. There's something to do with their finances. That's very well-rounded or very, I don't know, foundations. They have a lot of money. Persevere and you will overcome your problems and it's upside down. This person, this... Whoever it is that's crying now, they really were trying to get someone depressed. They really wanted to change the way that someone was. I heard on screen. I don't I don't know if someone in the collective is like, um, this isn't coming up a lot, like an influencer or a podcaster or um a singer, a rapper, but there's something about having um an impact on a wider audience that connect through the internet or connect through something along those lines right so this person whoever it is that's now crying may have been watching you or watching someone in the collective and they were hoping that there'd be a parting of ways in some sort of business that this this masculine wouldn't come towards you they wanted you to stop being inspiring or stop being happy who does this I had come up and so this person's getting their come up and this is part of their Saturn return they ain't, they're only just learning this but it doesn't mean that I'm not getting that this person is like sincerely I have learnt my lesson I should not have done a b and c because this is where I am now it's like they're upset they're now looking in hindsight and going I shouldn't have done that I should have played the long game like I was given the advice to and I didn't listen. And now I am stuck with the same energy that I was sending out to this person, which is a period of ill health and depression. This happiness coming out in reverse. How many times? They don't like how sunny. Someone's, someone's got a sunny disposition. They don't like it. It irks them. It irks them. It irritates their demons. How can one person be so chipper and happy about life when so many towers are falling around them? Because abundance is a state of mind. It is a vibration. It's a vibration. It's not something that you acquire. It's something that you tune into. And if you understand, whoever this person is, if you're watching, when you understand that abundance is here and here and it comes as a... It's almost like a, um, what's the word? A byproduct. It ends up in here. That's not where it starts. When you realise that and you are attuning into it. And instead, what you've done is tuned into the energies of all the things that you didn't want. And you've just manifested that in instead. I feel like this person knows this. They're depressed. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. 
I heard someone's ancestors say it's time to grow up. It's time to grow up. Because especially if you are a mother to children, how are you spending so much time focusing on someone else's money rather than the happiness of your own kids? Temporary problems come up. They realise that all the efforts that they did to make someone stressed out or sad or depressed or whatever was just temporary because you have so many protectors around you and that changes were going to come in your life anyway. And if anything, they probably they probably had a hand in helping those changes come in. Mm. They may also be realising that you have soul family that are actual ascendant masters or are deities or are elementals, not just soul family that are human beings, if that makes sense. Period of prosperity and abundance. It's always going to be a temporary problem, but it's always temporary. It's temporary. It's always going to change. Unsuc unsuccessful outcome of a problem. They were hoping that this would be kind of like, this would continue and continue and get you more and more stressed out. But someone here was literally swinging like this down the street, even after a tower fell. Because someone was like, okay, that's fine. Because the universe has put it on my path for a reason. Boom, there you go. It's been put on my path for a reason. Now, what's the lesson? What's the blessing in this? How do I grow? Do I have to barrel through it? Do I go around the side of it? Do I sit and study it? What do I need to do so that I can expand myself and have that more growth mindset? And they can't they can't fathom this. And it's given me the energy of um, the film with Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it, 50 Days of Summer, when he... Um, he there's a bit where he's like he does like this musical it's so cheesy i love it but he's like really chuffed that he's either got a date or he's just slept with her i can't remember and like he's like swinging along that's the energy and this person i can't believe it how can one person have so much sunshine in them how can one person have so much sunshine in them period of ill health they may have tried to make someone ill in november they may have tried to and this was the last straw for whoever they were with this was the last straw for someone they were with because whatever they were manifesting for you or someone in the collective was actually what they were manifesting for themselves right so they tried in october failed but they'd already set the ball rolling for what they were literally manifesting for themselves where they were trying to get whoever it was online to either be sick or stop coming online or be seen as someone who is unpredictable or not trustworthy or look at their vibrations they're always unwell they're always coughing or they always have some sort of joint pain or blah 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 while they were doing this whoever it was that they had as a provider was seeing their vibrations change, was seeing how they were acting, and was just like, why am I here? I don't know if this masculine was listening to someone online, or if they, there is definitely this energy of, um, especially with the chain of events that will affect your life, this masculine may have started changing their own vibrations. It could be taking more accountability, or going, do you know what, I'm really tired, or I'm providing all of this, and I'm getting nothing back. What do I need to change in my life that will make me happy, will make me more successful? will bring in great fortune that will help me shine and they were realizing that the, that the the things around them were not resonating with them anymore and that's why you got parting of ways in either romance or business because come november when they were sending out health spells or unaliving spells or whatever it was because of pure jealousy because they and also insecure that you're going to take my man you're going to take my woman you're going to take my he she they they literally made themselves a self-fulfilling prophecy they literally did. Their insecurities got the better of them and actually created the environment that they're now in. Come November, that November passed, or whatever whatever time it is for you, they literally have... <laughs> whatever they sent out to hurt or harm someone created the chaos and animosity that they were feeling for someone in the collective, which is really just a projection of how they're feeling about themselves. And... That masculine that was the provider left them or said, I want a divorce or I want to have a paternity test or I want whatever that may be. And that was the beginning of the end for them. And it was the beginning of the beginning for this masculine coming into someone else's life, into this collective's life. 
all right because you have here parting of ways and evil romance or business when one door closes another one flipping opens and they've realized this they realize that they've done this to themselves birth or conception of a child or enterprise a chain of events they created this they literally did it to themselves they've literally did it to themselves See, what's this one egg success assured with good plans and hard work they honestly thought that they were gonna get success assured with good plans and hard work they were working hard at this but what they didn't realize they were working hard at hurting themselves because the energy that flows through me is the energy that flows through you when you send someone a hex or a curse or a shut up spell or a freezer spell all you are doing is literally sending a boomerang you are sending a boomerang. You may think that you're sending an arrow, but the universe, God, Allah, Vishnu, whoever you see as divine source, bends that and goes, nope, you can have that back. And it doesn't mean that you're going to get it back in the same day. You ain't going to know when you're going to get it. You send enough arrows, you're going to get enough of those boomerangs coming back. And when they do, they pop, 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 pop. And that's what's happened to this person. Now they're in that energy of stifled, stored, um, bored and stuck, and they're heartbroken. Learning a very hard lesson. Successful outcome to your problems is upside down. This person knows, this come out twice now. Unsuccessful outcomes to your problems and key upside down. Successful outcome to your problems. This is confirmation for anyone who was watching this that is that person who is crying and upset and going, this person has left me. This is confirmation. And I heard someone's ancestor saying, what goes around comes around. A literal boomerang, a literal spiritual boomerang. Heartache over what you no longer have. This is confirmation for some sort of emotional or spiritual maturity. This is the, the beginning of someone's dark night of the soul. You can resist it and it will be really, really painful. Or you can surrender to it and be vulnerable with yourself and go, hey, this is where I effed up. These are the areas that I need to pour love into myself because everyone is worthy of love. Everyone is worthy of finding the light within themselves and everybody has a life purpose even the people that do stupid effery towards you know other people in the collective they're just lost souls seriously they are lost souls it doesn't mean that you have to go out and fix them not at all it doesn't mean that you can't return the energy that's sent to you back to them but knowing this how sad is that that this person's now weeping outside their front door either getting evicted or having to live out of the car because they were too focused on taking down somebody else rather than pouring love into the relationship they had not only with themselves not with, only with the person who left but with their children with their children someone you know is undependable and insincere someone is leaving your life they didn't want this person to leave but they also didn't want to grow up and take responsibility for their own actions because i always say this it takes two to make a relationship and two to break it and i know that from personal experience as well i'm not you know i'm not coming for anyone I know that for personal experience. You want that relationship to work, you've got to work on yourself as well. What else wanted to come out? I just heard someone say, say less. I want to take th those ones. What those ones? Mm, let me see, let me see. What else wants to come out about this? Why have I been shown this right now, though? Why have I been shown this? Because you've got the Six of Swords. I don't know if somebody is moving away from this. Queen of Pentacles. You've got the Tower in reverse. What were they promised? Because the Tower in reverse is about continued oppression or continuing to ignore something. Why did we get... Um, uh-uh. Uh -uh. Can I get um, some clarity on the Six of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles? And I had Butterfingers. I don't know if this... See how they're not actually um, shuffling properly? I don't know if this person reads themselves. There's something about their energy being stuck or something being stuck on their energy. And you've got the Two of Cups coming out to the Five of Swords. They wanted to bring in, they thought that they had this in the bag. Why did they think they would have this in the bag? Like, can I get one card? Okay, I'm going to, I want a different deck. This deck is not jamming for me. Which one? This one, okay. 
you know, that, that, that deck is not jamming for me. And look at these cards going everywhere. I'll pick those up in one second. Uh, I want some clarity. Why do we get the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords? The Queen of, of Pentacles has come out. Queen of Pentacles has come out twice. And the King of Candles, King of Wands. Because they honestly thought they were going to get some sort of final. This is um, something in November. They opened up some sort of um, some sort of business. They were using their provider's money or this masculine's money to open up some sort of rival business. Queen of Needles is underneath, yeah. And they got the paperwork going. What is this? But they didn't have the creative. They didn't have the creative something. They're upset. They. I know that for a long time there has been this energy of somebody who was in competition, even with somebody who didn't wasn't even aware of this, and it came down to something that um someone in the collective was creating, like um either turning it into a brand you could your you could be your own brand if that makes sense for example i'm my own brand you know i i do tarot as a job and blah 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 um there's someone here who was copying this and they wanted to um trademark something or they wanted it to be theirs even though they were stealing this tell me more about this clarity six of swords Knight of Presents, there's money coming forward, the world, Six of Needles, and the Seven of Candles. They thought that sending um, some sort of depressi depressive energy towards someone's mental body, this is not just towards someone in the collective, this is towards one of their subtle bodies. It's to do with the sixth house, and we've, this has been coming out a lot about messing with someone's sixth house. They were trying to send something very, very subtle, bit by bit by bit by bit. It was supposed to bring in a lot of money for them. Okay, because the sixth house is not just about health, is it? It's about work and routines. It's about analyzing certain things, paperwork. They were definitely trying to trademark something that was yours or something that was from the collectives and they wanted to play it off as theirs. And they thought that if they did this quick and they made someone here slow down how they worked or brought them into a period of ill health or depression, that they would be able to trademark this or make it theirs before you could turn around and be like, hold up, what's going on here? How is it that blah, blah, blah? They wanted to sue someone here and this has come out before and it didn't work. This may have been like the last straw for whoever this masculine was when they realised what are you doing? Why are you doing this to some random person online? Why are you copying their stuff and then trying to sue them? Are you mad? Have you lost your damn mind? Because you've got here Seven of Pentacles. This person was in such opposition to you or someone in the collective. They put themselves, they fought putting themselves into competition with work. And I feel like they did get advice. They got advice from whoever this person is, this witch doctor or blah, 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 but they told them to go slow and steady because there was something about um, keeping an even balance between someone in the collective and the provider. It was almost like doing something to someone in the collective without the person that they were with knowing. Because look, the Knight of Pentacles also, it's the slowest card in the deck. It's the slowest card in the deck. I mean, this dude here is just chilling out. He's literally chilling out. He's falling asleep at the job. It was supposed to bring in finances slowly. It was like, was it softly, soft, softly, softly catch a monkey? Going baby slow. And this was supposed to stick someone else. It was going to keep them in a certain place. And they wanted this. Because I know we have the six of needles in reverse and we've got the six of uh, wands, um, six of swords upwards. They were trying to block some sort of business coming through. I feel like this person doesn't live very close to you or very close to someone in the collective. Eight of potions. They've been working on this for a while. 
or they've been working with whoever this mentor was for a very long time and now they're really upset because this person's by themselves they have nobody supporting them whoever this um, mentor was for them or whoever this person was that they were going to it was business only as and i'm hearing mama roo mama roo i don't know if that's someone's business name but they were going to somebody who, um, I'm getting like Louisiana or Creole or something along these lines as well. They were either going to somebody who works with Yoruba deities, African deities, or someone who works with like, um, oh, what's his name, Baba L, the Crossroads Demon, something along those lines, right? they told them slowly and softly wins the race and they ignored them whatever it is that they have on their back now it's not just like oh um they're going to get evicted there's something else going on and whoever it is that was helping them or giving them advice has just gone i'm washing my hands of you nope you didn't take the advice that i told you you did something stupid and now you're on your own temperance and death in reverse <sighs> whatever they did somebody in the collective healed from this they healed from it when i was saying that if somebody had a period of ill health in the winter or depression or sadness or whatever it was it's been healed it's been alchemized it's been alchemized this isn't just kind of like i've healed from it this is mad juju being sent to someone and someone going oh i know that energy's been sent to me i'll take that num 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 that will help me shine brighter i'm gonna alchemize this i'm gonna take this lead and alchemize it to gold they got it. You didn't listen to their mama roo. Mm -mm -mm. King of potions, knight of potions. Well, whoever it is that's left them, whoever it is that's left them, seems to have a massive cup that they want to give to someone in the collective instead. King of potions, king of cups. Very fatherly energy coming in here. Knight of potions, this person want to love you up. And Knight of, of Candles, they also want to do something else too. Wow, wow, wow. Knight of Needles. So this person is very actionable. This person is very caring. And this person is true to their word. I mean, all we're missing is the Knight of Pentacles and we literally have an Emperor. Wow, okay. We've got the Hierophant underneath. And we've got the Eight of Potions, or the Seven of Potions in reverse. This person is very... um logical or they may class themselves as a bit of a realist or they say what they mean there's no smoke and mirrors with this person there's no smoke and mirrors with this person and you've got the seven of needles in reverse to the empress in reverse listen if this person is the emperor then they're fully aware that who they were with was a fake empress and they're this is the reason they left this person because they realized what this person was doing and it was way too much with this seven of needles in reverse they may wish to come forward and let you know and be like by the way you know that this mad b was doing a b and c anything else anything else we need to know about this before i go the magician and the moon so the magician this person is also the magician this person has a lot of resources of course they are the provider right they have everything that they need to create what they want this person may have a child that's that's something here with the drama here with this person leaving i don't know if they've left with a child that may be why this person's crying this fake empress because this emperor this provider has taken their child and gone this is my child and they have, I don't know how many kids, but this is my child. I'm taking my child with me. And you have the moon here in reverse. And the ace of candles. The two of presents. I feel like this person wants to um, offer some sort of collaboration. It's not collaboration. It's not collaboration. This person um, is very good at manifesting things. But I don't think they're very good at um, expressing their emotions. They're more at, good at acting their emotions out and showing you how they feel through actionable steps. Who is this emperor? Ooh. Emperor six of potions. <gasps> this is six of cups. This is someone from the past. This is someone from the past. Page of presents in reverse. 
this is someone from the past that did either you um you rejected or they rejected you take it as it resonates and please do not blow up my comment section going i don't want my ex back no one said you did and i'm not saying this is your ex this could literally be somebody that um you knew back at college or you knew when you were a kid and you were good friends with them or they hung out with you in the same circles and you always thought hmm, they're not bad but you never actually went there or you maybe you did and they were like no i only see you as a friend it could be that it could be somebody from i don't know um your last work job i don't know from five years ago don't always take it back to your ex okay because by doing that you claim that energy um, we don't want that, do we? Now you've got the seven of presents in reverse. You've got the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is this is like um, somebody who didn't invest or you didn't invest in them in that way. And there's been a massive change in both both people's lives. And that means someone in the collective and theirs. If someone here has some sort of um, online presence, if you are a rapper or a singer or a dancer or you have your own website where you do somatic release, you could be a Reiki master, you could be a writer, whatever that is. Who is this? This person is able to view your work and they're realising how much they should have invested, even if it was more in that friendship. One second. Hello. Bruh, the amount of cold calls I get. Anyway, this person is realizing that they were kind of, they kind of chose the rotten end of the stick rather than the part of it that was growing tree leaves and roses and things like that. This is someone from the past. We've got three of potions, three of cups. This is somebody that wants to celebrate with you or maybe you celebrated with them in the past. Yeah, you, maybe you went partying with this person. Because you've got death in reverse. This is somebody who either parted with you a lot or you hung out with them a lot. You may have worked with them for a long time. You could have studied with them. They could have been like a study buddy. Um, this could have been when you were a teen and you hung... Like I said, but there is something here about a continuous happiness so i don't know if like with the three of potions being there you hung out with other people with them and this is something that was done on the regular but either they didn't see you that way and you did or you didn't see them that way but they did the wheel of fortune okay 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 i heard move, i heard move mountains someone here wants to move mountains for you rotted you've got the knight of candles upside down they are willing to take things slow and you've got the nine of potions yeah they're willing to take things slow to show you that they are serious and you've got the six of candles this person that sees you as marriage material five of potions upside down they really like your sunny disposition that comes back to the start again that may be where the jealousy come from as well is that whoever they were with if that person's always complaining always complaining there's always something wrong it's like coming into a room and looking for mess rather than looking at how lovely the place looks going why is that on the floor over there or what's this what's that and it's like chill chill and this person realized looking at whoever this is in the collective that it resonates for, that they should have actually, um, they should have chased this opportunity when they had the opportunity. And now they're coming forward. Because you've got the Nine of Potions here. This is Satisfaction. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Self-explanatory. You have the Knight of, Ch of Candles. I honestly feel like that this person maybe also there may have been advice or something within your music or whatever it is that you create that helped this person especially goes back to feeling inspired and saying i can be inspired with someone without falling in love with them i feel like there was a conversation there or something where this person especially if they are used to um showing how they feel physically be that doing something for someone or be that getting it on that this person was realizing that they have to dip into their emotions and i had an emotional roller coaster 
you could be an online therapist you could be a tarot reader um you could be a vlogger or a blogger but there's something about a journey they've gone on by listening to the things that you've created or watching the things that you've created that have helped them to um connect to the parts of them that they usually hide and use physicality instead with and it says here as well yeah look persevere and you will overcome problems and there's success there and happiness and well-being so maybe this person had um depression themselves or they had a mental health issue that they were ignoring and whatever it is or your presence online has helped this person to heal or to at least be accountable for where they are in life and why they feel that way because we're all at different stages in our lives and there's no shame in not um what's the word achieving certain goals that you feel that you should at a certain age or because of the culture that you're in or blah 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 and this person's realizing this and i don't know if the person they were with was always pushing them like you should be doing this and this and you're this age and how comes you haven't got blah 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 and that is the reason why with this sunshine here they did not like the fact that you were shining so beautifully not for anyone else but for yourself and it was enough to light this person up and go i'm not happy where i am i am part of the reason why i'm here but that person is as well and i don't want to be part of that so there's been a lot of emotional maturity for this person over here they're fully aware now that they can't fix things by just doing things or just having sexy time that they have to take their time to overcome their problems the chariot is about healing mm -hmm. And seeing the cup as half full rather than half empty. Wow. Temperance and the tower. And healing themselves from things that they feel like they've been oppressed from. That have been really overwhelming. This person's coming in. I feel like this person is coming in very quickly. This person has moved away from them and is moving towards someone in the collective. And I heard with a thank you note. There's some sort of thank you note they wish to give. Where would you like me to go? over here over there i'm going to take these romance ones out i wasn't going to but i feel like um they are needed i needed these ones or the black ones black pink it's giving me the <laughs> black pink is a korean um girl band i absolutely love them i don't know does this person live in korea they could be korean true love has a habit of coming back well this person may have had feelings for you or you like i said you may have had feelings for this person but nothing was said this could be someone's divine counterpart it doesn't have to be but wow you know in your heart i am always there okay all righty then so this person seems to be coming along on their little white horse it's up to you whether or not you wish to have that you don't have to because you've got the chaser in reverse and it says here, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandon, abandonment issues, and it's upside down. So this is somebody who may have had issues with commitment in the past. They may have had issues with um, abandonment. So they kept up a very high guard and were just kind of like, there's something about um, making jokes when they're uncomfortable or using humour to deflect. And you've got endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation and transition, coffin. So this person may have, I feel like this person held a flame for someone or you held a flame for them for a while. But it's more the other, no, I feel like they held a flame for someone. Please don't be angry with me forever and it's upside down. Maybe they feel, um, there's something here about, there's guilt, there's guilt coming from this person. Butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. This is what I mean by whatever your your presence in their life is. It has helped them to heal their inner child and to grow as a person, irrespective of whether or not you wish to connect with this person, because you may want to. And if you don't want to, just know that them listening to some sort of advice that you've given has inspired them to actually connect with their inner child, to grow and to see. And I keep hearing to take accountability for their actions, which is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I'm not getting anything negative from this person. I'm just getting that this is someone from the past. Hand of cards and clock. Take a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. Need time, takes time, in time, time to heal and progress. So this person, 
they want to take a risk. At the moment, they're kind of being strategic and how do they come forward and connect? But I feel like they feel that time is running out. Time is running out in some way. And you've got the king of potions here. Okay, so this is coming from the heart. Sabotage is upside down. They don't want to mess this up. Rebuilding interrogation, re repetitive, persistent, and working on it. I also feel, though, that um, rejection is hard for them. This is not saying that this person has gone from being a boy to a man in, in one day, or this person has gone from a girl to a woman in one day, or they've, they've gone from a little he, she, they, uh, you know, they, them, to a uh, mature they, them in one day. It's not saying that. It's saying that this person is on their journey of healing and taking accountability, but they are still quite fragile in if they are rejected, they will not try again. And it's not that they will be nasty about it or they will blow up, you know, your DMs or how dare you. Blow up. No, I'm not getting toxicity from this person. I'm getting that this person will try. And if you connect with them and, you know, you're vibing and they're vibing, awesome. If you're not, they are just going to shut down and be like, okay, bye. And you won't hear from them again. So I feel like I had be wise if because yeah look you've got kisses upside down this person with unconditional loving giving and receiving affection and falling in love this person has a fear of falling in love or this person has a fear of being vulnerable and it's not that they won't do it it's that they have to feel safe to do so and don't we all um but that's why i heard be wise if this is somebody from your past if this does resonate as an ex and you don't want that person back fair enough this reading isn't for you if this comes across as somebody that you knew from 10 years ago and you're like, oh my gosh, I know exactly who you're talking about. But then you put your guard up and this person contacts you or goes, would you like to go for a coffee? You're like, F, no way. And you do that out of reaction, out of a knee jerk, you won't get another chance with them. They will not contact you again. They'll most probably block you and hide themselves under a blanket. Be aware of that. So that's why I'm saying be wise. If you really, as a knee-jerk reaction, don't want to know them, and then afterwards you're like, no, I still don't. Fine, do that. But if you know that you're going to react that way because you're guarding yourself, be aware if you do that, you will probably not hear from them ever again. Dare I say. I'm thinking of you. This person thinks of you a lot. And I had through troubled times, so they may have been thinking of you through troubled times. This is what I mean by you gave them strength or inner strength. Maybe just thinking back to the times that, that they spent with you. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception and focusing out. This person, clear your energy. This person was gaslighting whoever they were with going, no, no, no. They were gaslighting that person. It was like a self-fulfilling prophecy for that person also who was doing mad juju or going to whoever and they were going but why do you keep you're really inspired by this person or quoting this whoever it is in the collective why are you are you quoting this person in a collective why are you doing a b and c and this person was watching you or looking or i don't know this person may still they may be in your energy or this feminine energy is addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a black restraint now is this i am not getting that from the person from the past i'm getting that from whoever it is that they've walked away from yeah they may have broken off an engagement with that person shut the front door engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union stop for some, and this will be for a small amount, this is someone that you were engaged to and you walked away from them and they want to now evolve the relationship to the next phase. That will be for a very small amount. Most people, this is who they've walked away from. Because you've got here, again, codependent obsession, possession, controlling has a black, black restraint. Their relationship was nasty. It wasn't good for them welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together and and it says perfect i want to kiss you okay there is no obstacle i wouldn't face for our love well okay there you go you someone here has either got a secret admirer or you know who this person is okay knight of presence is telling me also this person wants to give someone a gift and i'm getting it's the gift of like i don't know if this is like business or investing 
in some way investing in someone addiction i want to kiss you this person fantasizes a lot about someone in the collective there is no obstacle i wouldn't face for our love maybe this person was thinking about someone in the collective when they were still in a relationship with this whoever this succubi incubi person was i feel like they were i feel like they were anything else we need to know about this person please and thank you what do we need to know Okay, so this person is talking. I don't know who they're getting advice from, but that yeah, they are interested. They want to converse with you. That something about waiting a message arrives, text, call, email, or hovering. They may. I don't know if you have like an email link. If you are a podcaster, there's something about having an online channel or an online content. This person may comment. They may not be using their um. They may not be actually using their profile. They may have made another profile so they can do this because at the moment they're not sure of how you will react to them. You have got talking and then you've got I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting and wanting to date. They want to take you out on a date. They want. They do want to get to know you and they want to take you out on a date. And look, you've got keys on the ring in reverse. Many options, decision, unconventional string along and one night stand is upside down. Because we already had this energy coming out here that they don't want to um, be physical or anything like that. They want to show that I had. They want to show that they have grown or they've grown up or they aren't the person that you used to know. Now, if you knew this person like twenty years ago, everyone grows up. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if they were very immature when you knew them. Maybe you were immature. Healthy choices. Yeah, this person wants to show you that they have made healthy choices in their life, making healthy choices in love and life, self love, self care, and being happier. And it says, oh, it says here, I'm receiving signs and messages from you. You may be sending each other signs. You may be thinking of a certain song or all of a sudden a song pops into your head. This is coming out again. Keys on a ring. Upside down. I think this person really wants you to know that they are not how they used to be. I don't know if when you knew them, they were an F boy or an F girl or an F they them. And the person they settled with is messy. And they've taken time to realise I can't do that. If I want to go towards collective, I have to show up 10 toes down. I have to show up. I have to clean up my act. I need to grow up. I need to, you know, this, this and this. And they feel like they have. I promise to always love and protect you. Now that being upside down, I feel like this is them still fearing a little bit of commitment. But we had marriage come out. This person wants to marry someone here. And now I've put it down next. So there is no obstacle I wasn't wouldn't face for our love. So this is the energy also of um, fearing. Are they good enough for you? Are they good enough for someone in the collective? Stop focusing on when. Now, I don't know if that is for them or if that is for someone in the collective. Because if you know who this person is or you feel that connection, stop focusing on when they come in because they will. Our love is eternal and can endure anything. So this could be past life. And it says, look away, I'm about to make a move. Well, there you go, you guys. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So I feel like that is also to do with how you knew them before. There's something about how you knew them before. Last one. Let's see. Divine timing is working for us. And that's upside down. So there's obstacles in between the two. Or there may have been obstacles in between the two people for a while. For quite a while. Okay. Last one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. This is a, someone here. Maybe frustrated that this person hasn't reached out. They're going to. They're literally going to, but you have to let go of when it's going to happen because this person is kind of bricking themselves a bit. I think it's because of the drama they have behind them. You've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Engagement came out twice now. And let go of control issues. 
this person will want to propose. They're having to kind of hold themselves back from rushing into things. And maybe they've always done that. They've always rushed in. It was hot and heavy, lost a little bit, and then they run away again. And they don't want to do it this time. This time they want to take their time. And I feel like this person is worried because you've got retreat here. It's time to disconnect from the world, but it's upside down. Maybe they've been doing this for a while. Attraction. You, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's something that um, can go for both of you. And I've got roses coming out again. That was part of the dream download that I had in my last reading. Was um, rose quartz in the um, shape of flowers. Or in the, the shape of like a bunch of roses. And that's to do with self-love as well as attracting love. But there's a need to be present. Wedding is in reverse. This situation involves a marriage. And it's upside down and make an effort. This person, I feel like whoever this is that's coming forward, they um, they may have always run away from the idea of getting married. If they were engaged to someone, this is for a small amount of people, they felt forced into it. They weren't happy. And for those, if this is someone that you were engaged to, this is a very small amount, this person feels like they are going to make an effort this time. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Codependency is upside down as well. Addictions are affecting your romantic life is upside down. So this person, I'm getting though with codependency and addictions, this can also be just to do with the devil energy, which is also to do with depression, mental health, when we don't look after ourselves, when we fall into that trap of being stifled, bored and stuck. It can be stuck in our south node as well. There is this energy and air of when they were with whoever it was that was properly jealous and sending all this ish. That energy was vibrating and kind of like collecting around this person. And then whoever it is that's coming towards you was feeling that. They were feeling that. They were not happy where they were. I feel like this person is making a lot of effort on themselves to step forward. But with the wedding upside down, this could also be not rushing into things this time. They're not going to rush into things, but they're not going to run away from things. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So this person is going to make a romantic gesture. In what way are they going to make this gesture? Playfulness. To re recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, to, of fun to shine this upside down. And passion. This is going to come forward... But it's not going to come forward in like a really flirty way. I feel like this person has never felt like this before for someone. And it's scaring them a little bit because you've got you deserve love upside down. Maybe they, they still are healing a wound within themselves. I heard a mother and father wound about being deserved of love. That may be why they have always had like this play, you know, F boy, F girl, F they, them kind of energy. Because it's scary being vulnerable. It's, it's very scary being vulnerable if you don't feel like you're going to be accepted. And that goes for everyone. That goes for the most qualified therapist there is out there. Because even therapists have to have therapy. They literally have to actively, continually have therapy. No one likes rejection. Even those with the most strongest of wills. Being rejected when you are earnestly want to be involved. Especially when you open up and show the whole of you. And it's the first time that you do that or it's only a couple of times. That's a scary thing to do. This person here, um, they wish to do something, but they don't want, it's almost like they, they, they want to tread really carefully in how they interact or how they offer something. It's like they want to test the waters first, just in case, just in case. So this person is not going to sh to be all flirty and kind of, hey, 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 how are you doing? Mm, you look nice. They're not going to do any of that. That's how they used to be, and they will not do it this time because they're realising how special someone is in the collective to them and how much this can work, but they have to grow up. They have to come in restrained a bit i'm getting and with passion upside down allow your heart and soul to sing with joy they won't do it yet not until they really know how someone in the collective feels until they feel safe because there's this feeling of wanting to run away but they know that if they run away they will lose any opportunity and you'll be snapped up or someone in the collective will be snapped up by someone else 
all right? It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Now, you've got to remember, type is just to do with patterns. It's patterns and it's vibrations, right? And it says here, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Healing family issues. I knew that would come out. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Heart to heart conversations. I feel like the when this person comes in if this is somebody that you know isn't an ex that broke your heart and you don't want that person back but this is just someone from your past and they haven't they weren't an a-hole or anything like that and it just didn't happen there is i feel like having heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other healing family issues and romantic feelings at some point being open in how you feel about each other is going to really help because this is we're only focusing on how they feel we haven't focused on how you feel but you have got a cup of coffee coming out the best is yet to come how sweet is that and then you've also got look be light-hearted finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal the best is yet to come a cup, um, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. This is probably going to come in in the form of friendship first because this person's been through quite a lot as well. And if this resonates for you as being someone from 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, whatever that may be, and it just was unrequited at that time, or maybe you both had feelings for each other, but you friend zoned each other, whatever that may be, there is a chance for this to change. But I feel like there's a need for compassion on both sides. Because whoever they whoever they were with was a messy bee. They were just messy. Messy and volatile. And if there is a child involved, if they have had to take the child with them, or the child has been left behind because that person couldn't take them for whatever reason, there is still going to be that, that energy of their of heartstrings being pulled that way. Because that is... I can't imagine, I don't have children, but I work with children, so I can only imagine what it's like to not have your child with you, or to have your child with you, but the other parent then doesn't get to see their child. That's that's a lot of volatile energy there, and not only for the person who's the parent, but for the child too. So there may be a lot of strings still, there's still moving parts that need to be worked out is what I'm getting. So this person coming in a little bit restrained might be doing that for a reason, um, but it's really up to you whether or not you wish for this relationship to flourish. It's up to you. Because it does say the best is yet to come. And you've got abundance. I'll leave it with this last one. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Okay, so that was a very mixed and um, energetic reading, wasn't it? I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell. I'm just looking for my water. I am so thirsty. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, hearts, kisses, soul family, I love you guys. Um, please know that my readings are open again. I am offering 15 minutes only at £55 um, sterling or... US dollars, that is $70. I do not take payment through PayPal. Please do not pay me through that. Just um, email me. Um, know that there will be a waiting list because my readings go really, really quickly. And I'm only taking 10 to 12 um, people per week. Um, I usually respond to people within um, about 48 hours, about two days, one to two days, because I get so many people coming through. If you don't hear from me, just send me a um, prompt. I love prompts. It reminds me. Um, and my brain can be a bit scatty sometimes. Um, if the week is booked up and you would like to be put on the waiting list for the next week, you will have to pay for that reading to hold that place. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. But if you do want to do that, um, let me know once we have conversed and I will send you an invoice, okay, with a payment link. That is how my readings are paid for. If you want more than one reading because you'd prefer to have a 30 minute reading, I don't do that, but I can do two separate um, 15 minute readings for you. I can do three separate readings for you. The price does not change. It is still £55 or $70 per 15 minutes. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Yes, um, I know that you guys have been really, really awesome in helping me with my housing fund. Like, you, honestly, I can't 
even put into words how much you've helped me. I am at the moment putting that on pause because um, my sister actually was the one who said this would be an amazing idea to do. Um, there is a, um, a shelter for street dogs and street cats in Sri Lanka. They run on donation only. The shelter itself is called Lokus Dog and Cats Care. It is um, located in the east coast of Sri Lanka. The east coast of Sri Lanka has next to no shelters whatsoever for street dogs, which means that dogs that are they're just left by the wayside if they get hit by cars they are left by the wayside and they may die they may be disfigured for the rest of their life the people that live in Sri Lanka are beautiful souls but they are not invested in animals the way that we are animals are for work animals are for guarding animals they will feed the animals but they are not going to go and give them medical care because a lot of um since we had um the pandemic the tourist system or the tourist they kind of ran on tourism and tourism has gone down so much that there are families there who can't even afford electricity and are having to use um wood to burn things i'm not even joking it's got that dire um it used to it did used to be a massive tourist community and people aren't going there anymore which means that you know they have to put themselves first they can't afford to look after animals if they can't even afford to look after themselves, right? Um, so the animals out there are just left by themselves. I think animals, especially dogs and cats, are extremely beautiful. They're extremely loving and they're extremely loyal. And we really take for granted how easy it is for us if we have a fur baby or a pet, you know, or if even if we find a dog and we go, oh my gosh, let me send it to the nearest shelter. In London, we have loads. I'm sure that where you are, there are a lot more than what there is in just that area in Sri Lanka. And that we can take them in and go, look, this, this dog needs this drops and that. And they'll get them. Whereas in Sri Lanka, they don't. It has to be paid for. The nearest vet host hospital to where this shelter is, is hours away in mainland Kandy. Many animals who get, who are heavily injured, they actually pass away um while traveling to the nearest vet hospital and even if they do pass away um the beautiful connie who runs this shelter has to pay for it and it comes out of donations and the little bit of money that she has i have a gofundme page i know that was really long-winded but i'm really passionate about this i think fur babies animals in general um we domesticated wolves into dogs and then they've multiplied and they're just left by the wayside we have to take care of them. We have to take care of Mother Gaia. And Connie, she has found her life purpose in just taking care of all of these dogs. They have like 150 street dogs and 50 cats. And when a friend, who was it? I can't remember, found a street dog puppy full of mange, this poor little thing. They even took in this puppy when they didn't have any space. Like their hearts are so big. If you guys would like to help raise just a little bit of money. I mean, we've already hit the goal. It was just £400 or $400 to help with medication, to help with, you know, travel and things like that. And to buy them not only food, um, but toys and sleeping mats for them to sleep on um, and so on and so forth. We've already hit the target of 400 um, at the moment, we're nearly at 700. I'm trying my best to get us up to a thousand because the the exchange rate from American dollars or um, English sterling pounds is doubled in Sri Lanka, which means it goes so much further. If anyone would like to give a dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars, whatever it is that you can afford, I would love you to hit on the link down below. If you can't afford to, I understand that. If you could share it with one of your friends, put it on your Facebook page or just share it with your family and see if maybe they can give a dollar. That would mean the absolute world, not only to me, but to Connie and to all of those animals out there that are getting the care that they need, but still struggling. That would make the, the world of difference. Now, after I've spoken for however long that was on that, I love you guys. I'm gonna leave you there and I will see you in the next one. Love you. See you later. Bye.